what is the best car in GTA Online, period? What have you guys voted for the best car in GTA Online? I did a community poll, asked everyone what their top three favorite cars are. I tallied them all up. Here is the top 10 favorite cars that you think are the best in GTA Online. I'm gonna put them in a random order. Enjoy the video. The Hellfire. I don't wanna ruin the video straight away, but there's no other muscle cars on the list, which I found very surprising. Not modern muscle, any type of muscle car. In my top 10, the Arbiter is on the list, but for everyone else's, it's only the Hellfire. Not even the Vigero ZX, and not even the Dominated GT. Everyone loves the Hellfire, which I can understand with the sound and the kind of looks, even though I think the Vigero ZX and the Dominated GT look a lot more realistic. But yeah, I'm just baffled that this has made it to number four and no other muscle car has even made it to the list. The AF Drafter. It's nice to see an equal amount spread of different cars, different companies. But the AF Drafter, I think, is well known for its handling, for the sound of the car. Again, I put this on the best sounding cars in GTA as well. And we're talking a crazy good price of 718000 A good looking car that from the back looks really realistic. Car that's made it onto many lists because of the sound and the price of it. Car you can get for only 708 Like, yeah, it's weird to say but a lot of these cars that are on the list are in the good value range. And it's no wonder it's 8th place on the top 10 cars in GTA Online. Now a lot of you are probably knew that the Tempesta was going to be on the list. It was not too shocking. But I guess in this sense, the Tempesta came 7th. Now it's strange because the car itself had the more previous gen GTA copying. You knew it was a Hurricane, but it had a lot of differences. It was It's not as realistic as some cars now like the Comet S2. I'd say it still had the Comet SR kind of realism and looks. But because this is a supercar, and it's actually a really good looking car, I know a lot of people like to stay away from supercars. I don't know, I think everyone has an inner ego where they're like, oh, supercars, oh. it's not cool. But in reality, some are good looking and really nice. It's like the car guy ego. And the Pest is a good example. It actually does look really nice. The modification, the aero you can get on it, it looks really nice and when you slam it as well I, I think the best feature about this car is the look and then the speed and everything is a bonus it's not the fastest car but it's a very good car i bet you was not expecting this on the list the shaft of v12 well for those of you that are really into cars and how they perform in gta you know you love the shaft of v12 and you're not so surprised but coming in at number 10 just making it on the list is the shaft of v12 and i know why it's that sound it's that speed the car costs 116k it has to be one of the bargains of the century in GTA. Like, it has to be probably number one on best value for money. Because you get so much for this car for so little price. And still, to this day, after so many years, still to this day, people still think it's one of the top 10 favorite cars. It has so much drama to it. It has four doors. You can get your friends in this thing. And yet, it might be a bit too casual for some people. Some people might prefer super hyper cars. And this car is a bit too casual for them or too outdated in looks. It doesn't look like any modern car in real life. But yeah, this is one I have to agree with. Anyone that just hops on GTA for the first time has a bit of money, I'd recommend this car. But that's not what this video is. It's top favorite cars in GTA. So the fact that it's on this list is crazy. The Sentinel Classic Y, buddy. I was a bit confused with this because it would be in my top 10. But I feel like if I mentioned this and it wasn't voted by you guys, you guys would think I'm biased because I like BMWs. I put this on the list for a reason and I'm into my classic BMWs. But no, this was you guys. You guys said the Sentinel Classic and Widebody should be in the top favorite. This did come in ninth place. So it is, so it did barely make it on the list, but it's still on the list. This is top 10. Remember, there's so many cars in GTA Online and this is the top 10 recommended by you guys. So to make it on the list itself is an achievement. The car costs 650,000. Benny's it costs 700,000 on top of the 650,000, which still is not a crazy amount of money. That only adds up to 1.35 million and you've got so many options. In second place, understandably, understandably comes the Comet S2. Now, I say understandably because I've mentioned this car in many videos. You can make nearly every type of 911 build. You can make some 991 generations and 992 generations. You can make GT3s. You can make GT2s. You can make Carreras. You can make turbos. You can have an idea with this car and you can nearly duplicate your idea onto the GTA. This car is raking it in for Rockstar because nearly everyone I talk to, they don't just have one Comet S2. That's never the case. I mean, I have multiple, but it's a weird thing where everyone just has multiple. 
it's not just me. It's that hard to stay satisfied with just one Comet S2. And the Comet S2 non-trade price is 1.878 million, which is, yeah, it, it is a bit high, but not that surprising. Like, look at it. Look at the car. It's a Comet S2. Nothing's very surprising when it comes to handling, but you don't expect it to be because you're not expecting a GT3 car here. That just happens to be the case when you put a certain amount of modifications on. But that's probably the reasoning to be number two on the best cars in GTA. It has so many modifications that you can nearly make it any car. Now this one baffled me a bit. I was like, this ZR350 comes in third place on the list. And I say that baffles me because you don't really hear much about the ZR350. Maybe, maybe it's because of the drift tune. Maybe now that they've got the drift tune added to the car, it's added so much more character and the low grips as well. The modifications you can do to it has always been great. But it's not mentioned much. Car costs 1.6 million. It is quite a hefty price. Rocks are new people. A lot of people are going to buy it. But it still comes up in third place. The Sterling GT. I just feel like it's in most of my videos now. I think in every top 10 series or anything I do, it's always in there. And it's actually one I wasn't expecting to add to this list. Because I was thinking, you know, I go on about this car. But does anyone actually listen? But it just seems like naturally you guys like this car as well sterling gt it comes in fifth place and i think it's a really good position to come in i've told you guys it's between this and the frankenstein Berlier of the best sounding car in gta period and i still think this wins marginally and then you've got hsw for this car which just also adds a cool element to it it costs 975,000 without the hsw so it's not a bad price either i think i go on about this car so much but then it's still, no matter how much I speak about it, it's still underrated. The Italy GTO. It has to be. It has to be the most dramatic car, like in GTA period. It's so dramatic. It keeps you on your toes. And if there was ever a driving feel in GTA Online, and I seclude all the muscle cars in the game, it has to be. The Italy GTO is so fun to drive. It's not all about getting places really fast and very stable cornering. Like this car gets places very fast, but you need to make sure you control the car. You need to make sure you don't hit a bump. It's so fun as well. I like this car where it hops around and you have to correct it. It costs 1.965 million, but it's definitely worth it. Still really nice to look at, amazing, super fast, and adds a different fun element that you don't really get with many other cars. now joint in first place i didn't want to put both of these cars side by side because i think they need their own video clip but but i was so surprised because finally finally there is another car that competes with the lg retro the lg retro was always number one and always number one by far but now the remus has been mentioned the same amount of times that the LG Retro customer has been mentioned, which is so surprising. I was not expecting it. I really was not. Now, maybe if I carried on doing the poll and I got more answers, more than the 300 and something feedback of cars I got, maybe then I'd finally be able to dictate what comes number one. But it seems like the Remus here and the LG are both number one. LG was obvious. LG it was always going to be number one, but something to come side by side with it is remarkable. The Remus cost 1.37 million. The LG cost 904,000 from the Benny's upgrade. It's like I have to play top trumps here, but then you can get the drift tune with the Remus. They both share the same idea of mixing generations of each car, but I don't know. Put it in the comment sections because I'm still baffled. Remus or LG Retro Custom? Remus or LG Retro Custom. I'll probably pin my own comment. Remus or LG Retro Custom and you guys decide there. I still think the, re uh, the LG Retro Custom might just win. But that's because it's legendary now in GTA. The Remus is still fresh. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're probably thinking, hello, I don't even have access to these cars. I can't even buy any of them. The link in the description is to our Discord where you can go in our trading server. And just people will help you out there. We gain nothing from it. Literally, just join our Discord server and join the community.